On this episode of Nerds Talking the Podcast, Rachel joins us from Impolite Society. We also let you know what's out in theaters and coming soon, and what you should go and watch. One of your favorite podcast hosts is going away. Is it Spotify? Apple? Google? We'll let you know. And the Barbie movie. We may be late, but now everyone's seen it, and we all got an opinion. All that and more on this episode of Nerds Talking the Podcast. Now start the show. Nerds Talking. The podcast. Yo, we talk about lightsabers, stunning your TV screens, what you want to stream, everything beyond your dreams. Want to talk about movies, sports, or even politics? Go ahead and tune into us. We'll give you all of it. Whatever you're debating, Xbox or PlayStation, Marvel or DC, Mac or PC. Teraflops when the movie drops, gigabytes, chips, RAM, no matter what it is, we got all of it. Welcome to the show. Nerds Talking, the podcast. Welcome to Nerds Talking, the podcast. I'm here with Johnny, Carlos, Rachel, Laura, and I'm Lafayette. Thanks for joining us in another episode of Nerds Talking, the podcast. Hey, for you Google podcast people that like to listen on Google, as myself, it's coming to an end. Google podcast will be going away. It'll be rolled into YouTube music. So if you want to listen to on Google, yes, they are pushing everything towards YouTube. That's what Google is doing. So if you want to listen on there, there you go. So uh, also, if you have a podcast such as we do and you have a TikTok, you can now put your podcast on TikTok. And you can oh. even live broadcast it on TikTok. TikTok is Whoa. opening up for News that. to us. Rachel yes, and I are taking yes. notes. Yeah, we're about to take In Polite Society live on TikTok. We're going to hit all the Gen Zs and they're going to say, stop talking, please. Oh, <laughs> this is way too long. <laughs> I know, right? Especially for TikTok, like you're, you're it has to be a three minute episode at most. It'd be perfect. So I'd be like, this is this is impolite. You guys are talking way too much. This is way. <laughs> and somewhere in your show, you got to push an old person over and then run away. Yep. Because yep. they all don't want to see it. They're gonna want to see it. So yeah. So that's uh, there's your little update on that. Um, and uh, movies coming out. Just let you guys know, Exorcist is coming out this uh, this week. Who's going to the movies? I am. Carlos? Oh, we got. Yeah, two. I want to see that in the theater. I want to see that. In the oh no, 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 no! I'm not seeing Exorcist. You missed what came out on Friday. What came out on Friday? Paw Patrol. Oh, Mighty oh, Pups. Yeah. Oh, That's see right. you there. Ellen and I are going on Friday. Well, last Friday. This is what Wednesday's episode. Whatever. It's Tuesday. We're going. This is Tuesday today. Tuesday. Yeah. I'm sorry. Tuesday. Down. It's Put Tuesday. I already went oh, and I saw so Mighty wasted. Pups. It was, was fantastic. It, good? it was, was it fantastic. Good? Who was wow. the villain? I'm waiting. Charlotte did not pee on her movie seat. Okay. Question mark. Wow. Okay. Question would mark. You, yet to, would you yet tell to the determine? staff if she did? Yeah. I don't you, know what you, I'm going to do. I you take the blame for it? it? <laughs> just take all the paper tiles out of the bathroom and just dab, <laughs> dab, 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 dab. So yeah, so check out uh, uh, the creator if you haven't, and of course oh, yeah. check out Pop Patrol because it seems like the rage amongst three people here. Uh, of course, Dumb Money is out, and like I said, Exorcist. The I think it's called Believer that also comes Believer. Out. Yes, October Looks like and Saw is it Ten next week? comes out, and Saw but is it next Ten. Week, uh, Taylor Swift. That's no, what I was going to say. Taylor Swift is October Friday the thirteenth. Yeah. The reason why the Exorcist ran away. They moved it up, date. right? Right. Yeah. They moved it yeah. up because Taylor Swift is destroying yeah. the box office and they feel like people won't go see that movie, which I think is dumb. But what but... business does Taylor Swift have releasing her concert on Friday the 13th? What? Yeah. She's trying to change the image of that date. Okay. Make it I happy just, like, and fancy let the free. Spooky Make it people <laughs> have Friday the Swifty. Over Friday yeah. the 13th. Come on. It's not just that. Think about the audience. The audience that's going to go see. The Exorcist is not going to go see Taylor Swift. I don't think they're going to lose money in that regard. You know what I mean? It's it's. I don't. I don't. I mean, see hey, it. I think people you got it wrong. did the Barbenheimer, right? Right, but I think Lefitz got it wrong because if you have more screens showing oh, Taylor wrong. Swift ever, you're going to make more money. So you got to give them as many screens as possible. And if I can, oh, nailed it. Out, yeah, yeah, yeah no, but it. but the Exorcist is going to get all the other screens for that weekend. You know what I mean? If you own a fifteen. Screen yeah, they'll theater. get the screen at the gonna cash get register while you wait in line. Five. Hey, the Exorcist is playing right here. <laughs> you want some popcorn? It's right out front. That's $15. like a pre-show. <laughs> $15 it's a pre-show. popcorn. 
<laughs> they just give you a DVD as you walk in. Just watch it at home. Taylor there you Swift's go, buddy. Theater yeah. number eight. <laughs> <laughs> like what? So, so yeah. So Taylor Swift's coming for your dollars again. So uh, there you go, people. There it is. And uh, what else I got for you here is um, the Barbie movie. Everybody here saw it. All of us. We all saw it. Finally. It only took how many months? Good Lord. I was going to say, this is like a good format for a pop culture podcast, right? Like, just wait a couple months and we're going to talk about what's relevant. If it's happening now, just give it a couple months and then you'll hear it on Nerds Talking. Nerds Talking old shit. (laughs) (laughs) So we're going to talk. We should have Rachel on more often. This negativity is awesome. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah no kidding you're well, like never like, again i'm surprised i got to come back two times in a row i know that you didn't just yeah. boot me out of the zoom meeting yeah this we is usually... your fourth showing this i think you're the one who's been on the most the guest that's, that's been right. on the most four times wow wow yeah. Except yeah. For i appreciate got offered a permanent spot uh, mm. well no you were offered a permanent yeah, spot. Two well, spots but were life, took, life yeah. took over you know yeah life too bad over. i can't pause life yeah Right. So and, and uh you I think you've been on maybe more even more than Joey, possibly. Yeah. Wow. Well now or, it's time for me to quit, right? Yeah. Go back to the last episode. Quit, I mean, quit while you're ahead. <laughs> Drop the mic. Retire. Yeah, I mean you're what, two beers in? So that's oh, just wow. the beers you've seen. Ah whoa. You have to whoa. remember we are in the central time zone. We are multiple right. hours ahead of you. That's right. You're two hours. Yeah, Miller I time had to started do prep a while work. Ago. Yeah, I had to do prep work for this for the show. show. Yeah, the show yeah. yeah, and that started at like six thirty. So, Johnny, what I did you like, prep? I feel work like you might show. might have That's wasted fine. time with prep work. <laughs> oh, no, 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 the prep work was drinking beer. He's drinking the beer. Uh, yeah, that was a prep work. Johnny. I want to know. I want to know oh, the prep work now. Like, I want to know Johnny's prep work. I want to know. In the face. Yeah. Wow. Okay, he's doing it again. <laughs> I guess two villains on the show. <laughs> All right, we'll jump into it. Barbie the movie. We're going to talk it. Johnny seems to have a lot of notes. So we'll save him for eh, towards the end of the crowd. We're going to start with Rachel. Rachel, you saw Barbie the movie. What's your take and what's your rating? It's, Go for oh, it. Oh, out of what? Five, ten, yeah, out of 100 five. tomatoes out of mm-hmm. five. Okay. I mean, it's a movie. It was. Holy Wait shit. a second. Wait, Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> that's Laura's line. <laughs> No, I do you even know that that's... he says it like every time? No, I didn't. No, oh yeah, we spend too much time together. That's the problem. Oh my gosh, <laughs> uh, I mean, go for it. It's definitely a movie. Um, and I thought it was entertaining in the fact that there were some jokes that landed and I appreciated it. Do I think it's a piece of social commentary that the rest of the world seems to think it is? Mm, maybe not. I don't know. It's it's a movie. The people in it are very attractive. My biggest takeaway was how the fuck was America Ferrera ever ugly Betty? Like girl no looks shit, like right? a Disney character. I mean, gorgeous. And I guess that's my biggest takeaway. I mean, it was fine. It was, I guess, three, four out of five. I mean, did you find it funny? Did you find it inspiring? There was some laugh out loud. Nostalgic. Moments. No, I no, no. You weren't into Barbies growing up, except and only when she had a horse between her legs, right? Uh, that, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Well, all. Are we every girlfriend I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Wink. Wow. Wish she had a horse between her legs. <laughs> yeah, that's called yeah. me. Uh, yeah. oh, 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 you're a horse. Jesus. Yeah, no. I mean, oh, I heard Rachel, I'm a stallion. That's what Rachel, I heard. Rachel, do you understand what we deal with now? I mean. <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit exhausting. Yeah, yeah it all goes back. Oh, no, it that's what she back. said, right? Like, <laughs> oh, see, oh my god, that one girl via text message. No, <laughs> no, and she totally lied. But fuck it, it's it's anyway. in the writing. It's so canon. What, what? What did you? Like, you frame that. Text. <laughs> you frame that text too. Um, oh, no, no, so- I I framed the text. I fucking saved the phone. I didn't trade it in. Like it, it's just there. It. It's, it's forever like in time. You're welcome, America. Wow. <laughs> What's America? What? Not America. Like America Ferrera. Like, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Don't so did, worry. Did, what did you get from the social commentary they were trying to? Uh, I mean, it pass wasn't. 
it was nice. I mean, it was nice in the fact that like they said things, right? The like the addressing the contradictions of being a woman. That was cool. I I liked that monologue. Again, I think I just might really like America Ferrera. Um, but I thought that was nice. I I didn't so much resonate with the ending, right? With her going to the real world because it's like, come on, how real is the world when you look like Margot Robbie? Like, oh, I feel bad for you walking right. around looking but like. But then, that like, all she the went time. to the gynecologist. I I didn't quite get that part. Yeah, either. I thought like, the ending was very transphobic because um, trans women are women and they don't have to go to the gynecologist. I think. I don't know. Well, the ending was to trick you, Johnny. You think she's going to like a big job because my take right. was, oh, she's going to take over Mattel because she knows actually what Barbie should be. And they're all celebrating her. Oh, good luck on your first day type of thing. And I was like, oh, there we go. She got a job like literally as she because she's Margot Robbie. Somebody gave her a job. And then <laughs> she goes to a gynecologist. And I laughed. And I was like, oh, not what I expected. Yeah. <laughs> I just started laughing. I, mean, I was but like, like, okay. If you're trying to make a point, I don't know. It's just like, that's not the epitome of being a woman. It's not just going to get your pap smear or whatever. I don't know. I thought that was a bit reductive. And if I also had to pass judgment, I would say there's a little bit too much Ken. Like, dial the Ken back. If we're going to really do a foil to how normal movies are set up, where, like, the female sidekick is just the sidekick, she doesn't get her own song, right? She just is there saying, what do we do next? Too much Ken. All right. So four out of five, too much Ken. And uh, take your pep somewhere else. I had Mm. more than Knuff of Ken. Nah. Ah, Good one. The K is silent. All right. (laughs) We'll jump to Laura. Laura, Barbie, what is your take three months later? (laughs) I think very similar to Rachel it, it, is it the cultural uh touch point I think that everyone thinks that it is no I didn't really get it I guess like I I feel like it's when my 16 year old niece shows me a TikTok and she's like it's funny I'm like is it is it though and she's like no let me explain it to you why it's funny I'm like no no no, no. I understand what's funny uh, what's happening but why is it funny <laughs> like that's it it just it didn't really make me laugh at all. Um, it's okay. I didn't hate it. There were some moments that I liked. Um, there was some nostalgia factor. There were a couple of costumes or outfits, and I was like, "What? What?" Because I was a Barbie person. Uh, so First that of was. All, fun. We know you weren't a Barbie person. Your neighbor was. You were just a borer of Barbie. You're a hundred percent. I I no. my parents did buy me a few Barbies, but they had all the Barbies. Oh, and like I relate yeah. to that. The yeah. people whose parents actually like bought them things and like spent <laughs> money on it. They had yeah. all the stuff. Nothing yeah. better than going over to your friend's house who had all the computer games, all the Barbie cool. clothes and accessories. Mm. And they live mm. next door. Shout out to Chris Thompson. Fuck Chris Thompson. Shout out <laughs> to Laura, Becky continue. and Aaron Troy. You guys had all uh, the cool Becky shit. Becky and Aaron Troy. Yeah. I looked them but up on Facebook. A, a couple of things <laughs> that <laughs> stuck with me. There was trans Barbie. There was a lot of trans Barbie in this one. And I asked my husband, I'm like, what did you think about that? He's like, there was a trans Barbie. That yeah, was honestly was. my reaction, Laura, because you even told me that. I heard your I feedback know. about trans Barbie and I watched it again today. And I'm like, I don't see a trans Barbie. Wait, which one's the trans, trans Barbie? Barbie? Yeah, which uh, one's the trans Barbie? The, the uh, blah, 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 yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna look I, it up. I, was I it honestly, like an influencer? Did they I don't have, recall. I don't know who it was. Samuel but Liu. it was it was I, this is not me just saying oh you're not that woman looks masculine yeah no no it was definitely uh harry neff harry what that dr okay. barbie oh yeah. the dr yeah. barbie yeah so you're she's correct. kind of like redheaded um yes but yes. And i don't a have a problem well yes. played by a trans person she's yeah, only oh, person. she's fr- the first openly transgender woman to appear on the cover of major major British magazine, yeah, yeah, but but again, you don't know that in the movie. How are we supposed out. to? Oh, that's when the she actress was showing her is trans. Feet. Yeah, I recognize that she was trans just by looking at her. Um, but oh. my thing was, 
I was looking at this movie and I'm like, okay, fine, trans Barbie. But handicap Barbie gets Which pushed one? to the background oh. and That's has right. she was there. no lines. Was she? You're right. There's You're right. The, the one in the wheelchair. Yep. And yep. Then, like, there was one in a background that had like a, a prosthetic arm, which points for inclusion. These women get no lines and no center stage, but trans Barbie was one of the core group that had lines and was involved in the plot and everything like that. Yeah, and I'm like, handicap. I mean, she wasn't handicapped. She was just what broke her ankle, twist her ankle. I mean, whatever. No, no, no. There was a there was a Barbie in in no, I know. in a wheelchair. She was in a wheelchair. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's it's a little bit insulting i guess uh, it's, i mean i'm not a handicapped person so i'm not going to say it's insulting for handicapped people i don't know what's insulting for handicapped people because i'm not one of them but if i put myself in those shoes i'd be like okay we're going to represent womanhood and we're going to put me in the background and we're going to put somebody else as a center stay that has lines and is an integral part of not integral but a part of the plot that well, felt weak for me i don't know i mean well, that's I'm... because we we're already awake to the handicapped community we still haven't been woken by the trans community and as a i don't person know that, i'm not going to comment on that i just I, it's mm. i'm i'm you know i am certified handicapped in the state of california and you have a handicapped person true. on the show and yeah. i give a fuck about my fellow handicapped people continue is it because that. your mustache doesn't grow all the way in it doesn't or connect. because of your broken nose connect. i also broke my nose and had it fixed yeah yeah yeah, What's got your handicap? ass kicked. And remember the Dyslexic. circumcision thing? Yeah, so, <laughs> totally handicapped. handicapped. No, one hundred percent. Yeah, park Durr. here, sir. Uh, uh, regarding the the speech by American Ferrera, like about yes. being the right oh, kind of yes. woman, yes. that is a good speech. And I I have I've seen it on TikTok, and I've seen people react to it, and it is a good one. Um, it's difficult and it's complicated, and but. I'm always this kind of person that I always try to flip it to the other side, right? I'm like, okay, I look at it. I watch it. That's interesting. That resonates. I'm like, but can you flip that the other way? But I think that you can. You can kind of do the same thing for a man. Though, don't get me wrong. I absolutely believe, obviously, uh, there is a power dynamic in charge of men and women. Men obviously rank higher than women. But it can also be confusing to be a man, you know, be a leader, but don't be too aggressive, be sensitive, but don't be a pussy, get the woman in bed, but don't pressure them. Like it's, it's confusing. It, it, I think my point is that the human experience is also very difficult and conflicting. Um, and I think the world gives men a lot more grace. But, we got a question. We have a question, though. Oh, oh I know. I, yep, I'm yep. here. Laura's just ignoring my hand. Uh, Devil's I, avocado I just here. Saw, I just saw she yeah, ignored yeah, yeah. the handicaps. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but the, again, being a human has a lot of complication to it. But I feel like the complication of men's stories is explored a lot in movies, in media, Whereas the women's side of things isn't as much. So that's what they're trying to get here, right? We've all yeah. seen movies from a male and our protagonist perspective and watch them grapple with things and try to decide who they are and that kind of thing. So, but that's that is why I think it's different in this case. It's just somebody saying the thing that is happening in the background. Yeah, they're saying that. I, mean, the, I don't the have a problem with it. Yeah. I liked it. I I did. I liked that speech, but that is generally what I was thinking as I watched it. And then then there was that bit about how they were like, "We want a seat on the Supreme Court," and the woman's like, "No." <laughs> at first, I was like, "That's not nice," but then like that's not equal. But then the narrator was like, "You know what? We're gonna let them in time. Maybe they'll make up to the point where we are now." And I'm like. Okay, fair. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. they gave a, you know, in the US, they gave us the right to a vote. Well, we didn't make it to the Supreme Court right away. You know, it took 60, 80 years. I don't know what the, the timeline is on that, but I know it wasn't right away. So I mean, I don't know. In general, it was it was fine. I didn't hate it, but I also did not understand all of the hubbub that people were freaking nuts about. So Three out of I mean, five. It made, them, 
It made a billion dollars. A billion freaking dollars. Yeah, that's how More starved that. women audiences are for movies about them. Yeah, maybe that's it. Truly. I mean, yes, they've made capitalist. seven little women and they haven't made money. So. Yeah, they did the little women movie. They redid Numerous that. Times. Nobody came to see that. Yeah, like three but times. Barbie. Already, yeah. Ooh, everyone played with Bar- Barbie. Yeah. So it's the nostalgia factor. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a connection. Yeah, get ready for Polly Pocket. Uh, that's <laughs> right. She's coming. She's and coming. she's gonna have whole different political ideology. Oh, I'm thinking yeah. like communism. I hope so. <laughs> Fascists and all that. Uh, so we have a four and a three. Johnny is up, and Johnny has a lot to say apparently about this movie. John, did you take notes? I didn't take notes. Okay, but you just literally—he's fresh off of seeing it. Like I'm talking, he saw this movie like finished it an hour ago. Exactly. Johnny, what's your take on Barbie, and why do you hate women so much? Go. Fair. Mm, fair. So, thank you. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> the list is so long. I can't hate women because as we've talked before, I've gotten okay, a we've great, heard it. We've heard it. Yeah, great we review. Yes. Oh, I um, thought you were gonna say you have a daughter. Yeah. Oh shit. No, nope, it's all about <laughs> you have a daughter. It's all about his dick. Let's not I know. Be cool. <laughs> care less I about mean, the daughter. That is where she came from, sort of. <laughs> That's where Johnny, I came continue. from. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> so the, this movie for me in particular um first i want to address laura's comment as as far as like putting the uh handicapped people in the background i i think it just comes down to editing right like it comes down to like the flow of the movie and things get cut for numerous reasons and maybe just it just didn't make it in there the, the fact that there's a trans person that that she's a doctor uh like it, it didn't, it didn't apply to me. Like I, I didn't know she was oh, a trans she person. Trans. Yeah. yeah, I did. I didn't know she was trans until you told me, and it, it doesn't make any difference in the movie. Like, great to be represented, but uh, as far as like the other people not being represented, I think it just comes down to editing. Like, there's so much involved that we are not privy to, and um, I don't know. Quit being a hater. So. My take on the movie in particular, like the first like uh, two thirds of the movie, it was just OK. It was like, oh, OK, Barbie's finding her way and the storyline. Like, I feel like you've you've seen a lot of this type of stuff before, right? Like Truman Show, like he lives in a certain reality and then the real reality comes through or Elf or anything like that. The The part that resonated with me is ken ken is such a pathetic piece of shit and i've been where ken is to love somebody who doesn't love you back and to get the i think of you as a friend speech and like all that shit uh, that's where it really resonated with me and um you know talk about margot robbie like she's so fucking pretty like there are some times where it's like Oh, you know, it's it's Margot Robbie. Like when, for example, when she's in the pink like uh, cowgirl costume, oh, it, it, that's what you expect. But when she was like consoling Ken and saying, "Hey, I don't really think of you that way," that that shit brought back so many fucking memories of like girls telling me the same goddamn thing, and she looked so goddamn pretty during that scene. Like, I don't know that's just me. Yeah, yeah, it, right. it it pulled at the heartstrings, and it was and... the one that gave you the review. What okay, go about ahead, my, nah, my gag? Yeah, nah, yeah, I mean, wait a second. Uh huh. Now nah, we're talking. It was the one that gave me the uh-huh. review. Uh-huh. Yes, she huh. put you in. She put you in reality. Still counts, motherfucker. Yeah, wow. Continue with your really review. Like that moment in the movie <laughs> where they said, like, she's like, "I'm so ugly," and the narrator was like. Please note that being Margot Robbie yeah, no, in this scene, that, I was like, but props. still, people are on the internet and they're calling her mid, right? Like, there's dudes on the internet mean? being like, like mid? Margot. Yeah, yeah mid, they, like people, she's mid. Like, yeah, yeah, there was a whole trend where guys were like, yeah, Margot Robbie's really mid, actually. And well, those guys right. are stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're fucking idiots. It's there. There are some times where like Gal Gadot isn't the prettiest girl in the world, right? Yeah, so true. And in, in the last Netflix movie, like they they dumbed her down a little bit. But 
we all know that she's fucking gorgeous, right? And it's the same thing with this one. Like, I feel like in the Barbie movie, like she was supposed to be gorgeous in every scene, but there are some scenes more than others. Like when she had heart, that she was so goddamn pretty that it wasn't that bad to get your heart broken by, you know, Barbie or Margot Robbie in that point. So <laughs> I've been there. I feel for Ken just to be this fucking strapping young buck that gets your heart broken by a girl that you love and doesn't love you back. I just I've been there. Took, took that away from this movie of all the. No, 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 no. I, <laughs> I, I feel like uh, I feel like me and my six pack uh, would agree. So, <laughs> what pack? Six pack of beer. Pack of beer. I I don't appreciate the way uh-huh. Bucky is laughing at this point, <laughs> but. Looks like you me do. and my six pack agree, and uh, so there were scenes with, that made me laugh. Um, yep, nothing that made me cry or anything like that, but I definitely felt for Ken like just to be this bitter, fucking pathetic dude who loves a girl who doesn't love him back. First of all, he knows how to beach. All right. Oh, he beats the fuck he out of you. He beats the shit out of you. He beats you off like nobody's mm. business. He only knows how to beach, which is hilarious because it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> can you swim? No, no. I ain't got time for that shit. Can shit. I can hang like, at the beach. This is supposed to be a feminist, iconic movie, and they still find a way to work in like a scene of violence, like a, a war scene. I was oh, just yeah, like, at the what beach. is happening which now? so weird. And that then he got scene. a song. And nobody else got a song. And it's yeah. just right. And here yeah, we the, are talking the about song Ken in portion of movie. Ken, that that I mean, I definitely checked my email on that one. Like I had time to like put certain you know emails in the junk folder, like during the, the whole Ken like singing shit, like whatever. Yeah. Um it, it didn't it didn't resonate with me. And obviously, like growing up as a young strapping good looking man like i didn't have oh, any barbies what what Nothing you don't ahead. you were there <laughs> i was there but i don't know who you're talking good looking. about <laughs> you said it. Said it. i don't know who you're talking about but go ahead no no, no I, i'm pretty <laughs> sure somebody said it yeah that blind chick remember there oh, mm-hmm. i do remember the blind chick in yeah, the yeah she said i was so hot yeah, anyways uh so the n- nostalgic part it didn't resonate with me but the part where ken's a pathetic piece of shit and uh he loves someone who doesn't love him back that that, that was, hit home for daddy you related to that you've been <laughs> in his so, shoes so yes hung up on that part <laughs> many many a times i feel and like that's I not feel surprising like, honestly what what the shit I said what it the, wasn't. That's honestly why would not why would we have this guest on here who insults me <laughs> to my face? I think Rachel and I is gonna have her own show <laughs> called <laughs> Johnny Talk. Yeah, <laughs> Truth dot com. We know this he, guy. Tru, <laughs> listen to this. Listen. I'm just right. trying to get uninvited back. Honestly, <laughs> you know. Well, mission accomplished. You son of a bitch. Well, that was I... if you got to call the shots. No, he doesn't. Yeah, you're in. Don't worry, Rachel. I you're don't. Safe. Damn it. I have no I'm, power. I'm it's like really watching like... the Barbie movie all over. Again. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's don't like worry, movie. Johnny. You are enough. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, I really like the scene where Barbie was like, or it, when you know it was Ken Land or whatever, and he's like, "Sorry, it's boys' night," and she was like, "It doesn't feel good." you know to be locked out and he's like that's what i've been doing for years and it's like okay you know recognize no, truth yeah, where a, it was yeah it's a good part of the I, story I mean, but, yeah but. yeah to be treated the same way that you've treated somebody but at the same time you know with her saying like i just don't think of you that way that's her prerogative to do so what's your final take on barbie <laughs> i'm gonna go uh three and a half i right. i enjoyed it but for probably different reasons than, like, say, the writer and director, because there yes. were so, yeah. there were the certain female scenes, writer right? and director. Johnny's like, yes, I have to relate to Ken. Yeah, I do right. like how you I'm took the Ken. Ken part out of it. I, yeah, 
I, no, I, I mean, can't. like, they, they were stupid shit. Like, oh, my God, my fridge is so small. It oh, no, no. Of course. <laughs> That's the funny part. Like, yeah. like for, for like nine minutes, all his dreams came true, except Barbie never loved him, regardless of all his surroundings. And uh, that's what I related to the most. And hey, uh, she explained it. It's Barbie and Ken, not Barbie and, and is, her boyfriend Ken. Yeah, it is Barbie and it is Ken. They're two exactly no, 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 whole no, no. people I, on their own. I get it, Rachel, and I thank you. And you can't I, force I, people I into relationships, mouth, Johnny. Because... What have you been trying to do? Huh? <laughs> you can't just force them in. Okay, if they don't want to be there, God damn it. But why does she not love me? <laughs> who who are you talking to right now? I feel like my wife Mom! and my child are like looking at me like, what the fuck is wrong with this? You dude? do need help, my guy. I know. I did the, the part that made me laugh was was just like, I don't have a vagina. That part really made me laugh. Like that was one of my But can we just parts. say, especially at the end when she was like going to the gynecologist, like how shocking. Shocking must it have been to go from your smooth that's what I thought Barbie too. pubis <laughs> to the human vulva. Everything, like, that, everything that, about no. it. Yeah. Now she has actual organs. She has to take a organs shit. Organs, and she has to shit. take a shit. And yeah. then like she has to trim her shit. Could you imagine? She's probably it's, like, Jesus Christ, send me back to plastic land. Yeah. It's yeah. the yeah. 2020s. Like you, she has you to learn trim. a lot. No, she has to learn a lot. Like her hair now has to be cut. It doesn't just yeah. stay one length. Speaking of trim, Carlos, I gave you yeah. a, a present over the weekend. It was an addition to your present. Have you tried um, it out? More ball trimmer talk. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of goes one yeah, way. With I put the guard on and <laughs> we are jungle free. <laughs> everything right. fit everything's good i feel like you might have shaved your head with the ball trimmer but <laughs> <laughs> you he look like good. a big nut right now i'm talking to you and your penis you look good <laughs> <laughs> all right so i have a Get four on his yelp page <laughs> i got a four i got a three i got a three and a half carlos barbie review what's your take did enjoy the ken part i thought it was funny like when he went into the hospital he's looking for the doctor like I, and the woman's like, I'm a doctor. No, no, no. You're not a doctor. Yeah. Let, let me talk to <laughs> your the supervisor. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the Ken parts were funny. Um, but, I mean, I, I enjoyed the movie. Uh, I didn't find, obviously, I didn't find anything nostalgic about it because I didn't play with Barbies. I didn't have Barbies when I grew up. But <clears throat> what threw me off was the whole, I understand that it's Barbie and Ken. But I thought Ken was made to be Barbie's boyfriend. That's what I always thought, because there's some women, like someone on the show, who would put these dolls together, close them in a room, and hope magic would happen. Right? Is, that, people... is that woman love yet? <laughs> no. That woman no. is me. Oh. So there are Just leave them alone in the bedroom. That Something will happen. This, right? <laughs> but they don't know what. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> exactly. But there are women that did this. So that's why I was like, okay, that's, uh, that's fine. But... You know what? Come to think of it, I'm sorry to cut you off, but Asian Ken, no Asian Barbie. What the shit? I know for a fact that Singapore now Airlines. Asian Barbie, though. Now there's Asian yeah. Barbie. Singapore Airlines does have a Barbie. They do. She's Barbie. Asian. She's but there wasn't hot. one before there. So wake the fuck up, America. Come on. Yeah. America Ferrera or, or America Asian Barbie. The... All right. The country. Hey, Laura, you got a pussy on your shoulder. <laughs> I do. I bug. <laughs> All right, Carlos, shave, continue shave your shit. Or Johnny just keeps going on about dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Genitals in general, honestly. Yeah, in general. What I didn't understand was the ending. How did she become human? I get she chose to stay in the real world, but once she traveled to the real world from Barbie Land, why didn't she become human then? Like for that little bit, and when she goes back to Barbie Land, she becomes back to plastic or whatever. Because don't she think to, about it too hard. She, I, I think it was like you have to make a final decision. Well, she I, came, it was like the I scene agree. where all the snippets of the women in their different life stages. She was just like taking on the burden of what it is to be a woman, and the, the tear, yeah. the one tear, you know, the silent tear. I we've all seen it here. Um, that's that's womanhood. It's the one silent tear, and she took it on, and then she had a vagina. Yep, that's Boom. the part that made me cry. Was Easy peasy all the all the flashback scenes of like you know, women and parents and w mothers and daughters. Like that was the stuff that I was like. So you did cry. I, just said already you I didn't did cry. cry. I said I didn't laugh. 
I did cry. Oh, though. oh, oh, okay. Mm. Well, hmm. Rachel, did you cry? No, it's Barbie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ice in her veins. Cry. <laughs> and that goes yeah. back to your well, crying toad of impolite. Under Laura's yeah, definition, no, you I guys don't respond to your like fan. I literally cry like 80% of the movies. Like, I, and if somebody dies, an animal dies, I'm yeah. a mess. But in this one, didn't get me. And I'm At I'm cemetery. an easy mark. I'm an easy mark. Well, in, in Laura's definition, Rachel's cool. So yeah, all, I was thinking yeah. the same thing, Carlos. Yeah. <laughs> what ice cold? Um, What's oh, cooler than being cool? cool? Oh ice yeah, cold. we did a whole ice thing about cold. cool characters and movies, and she picked yeah. a murderer. So Carlos, um... <laughs> tracks, <laughs> tracks, <laughs> so tracks. Carlos, oh, what, uh, what's your rating? What's your final verdict? I give it a four. I enjoyed it. I thought it was. I thought it was, some parts were funny. I thought uh, Girls' Night was funny when Ken was trying to outdance the other Ken. It was just funny, and then, um, but what? And then I started to think. I've read a couple of articles where Amy Schumer said that she was supposed to be Barbie. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, you are going to be fat, ugly Barbie, right? Because you are wow. not going to be Barbie. <laughs> so this was a while ago, though, and it wasn't the same script or anything. It was. It I'm was guessing Amy it was like a totally different movie, like a comedy. Yeah, Amy, no, right? Amy Schumer was supposed to be like. Ahead of it, like writing and everything, like it was supposed so, like, to be her Amy movie. Schumer. She wasn't supposed to be joke Barbie? stealing. No, no, Barbie. she was Barbie, but she was supposed to be like the writer also. Like it's supposed to be a jokey, oh. jokey like type of movie, not like social comedy. Right, totally type just of comedy, movie. just a comedy movie. But yeah, 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 yeah. So it would have been horrible to be honest. I'm not just... into Amy Schumer, so I'm Same I'm here. not mad that she got kicked out. <laughs> but she does have one good movie, so I can't, you know. So train wreck, train wreck is hilarious. Yeah. Didn't see Hilarious. it. She does really well in those Tampax commercials, though. Yeah. Oh, she's really good at commercials. Does she really do yeah. Tampax commercials? Oh, yeah. They're all over. I bet yeah. those would be funny. I haven't seen them, but I bet she would be good in those. No, they're not so, funny, but so, uh, she's just all over. She's, she's just. Yeah, yeah. She might be funny to me. <laughs> so, you, so we got another four. We got a four, three, and a three and a half. I've already talked about this movie when it came out, but yeah, it was, it was funny. Uh, the social commentary made sense to me like, when it comes to, you know, men get more you know anything handed to them over women just before being men you know um it all made sense and then when ken cried about things but then learned in the real world i can we rule the world i was like oh he gets it now okay and <laughs> then he started doing stupid shit which was funny um uh, he kept using one particular word over and over when he was in the real world i can't forget, remember what it was was it patriarchy there you, you go yeah, <laughs> yeah there you go. Patriarchy. patriarchy over and over which was the funny P but word but yeah, no, it was funny, and it had it had its message was clear. It really was. And when, like you said, Rebecca Ferrer gave that speech, I was like, yeah, she ain't wrong. She she's one hundred percent correct. A woman has to work for her shit, and she's always been looked down upon by men. I mean, that's just how it goes. I mean, if a woman talked to me about football and she knew everything, I still think you don't know as much as me. Get away, woman! But she probably knows more than me, <laughs> because men. That's how men are. Men are dumbasses. That's the best way to put it. Men are Ken, hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about this before, but I've I've told you guys like I've always been in the position where there are women in charge of me, lieutenants, captains, um, your wife, my, your daughter. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> my daughter for sure. My wife not in charge of me. Like all I do is cook and clean for her. Like what the fuck. That's like, how she's in charge of you. I'm, boy. I'm the man of the she house. Really in charge. She got you good. What, what, she's in charge. I'm sorry. What was that? I'll be right there. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta go, guys. <laughs> no, but like I, I've I've always been in a position, and and there, I wouldn't say manly positions, but like in the military, like I had a female lieutenant. She told me what the fuck to do. Like if I I needed to pick something up. She, you know, like I followed her every single order. In my current position, like, you know, as a cop, like, I've had plenty of female supervisors. So, like, this movie didn't, it didn't, uh, insp when I, when I watched it, I was like, well, I don't know why it would inspire anyone in particular. Like, in my position, like, I've, I would say, like, I'm in manly positions. I've been in manly positions, uh, throughout my life. You've been in positions with men? For sure. I got you. Right, right, with uncircumcised dick. So, like, uh -huh. I can, f I feel like I've, I've been the man for the mm -hmm. most part. 
But then, like, mm. I've had females in charge, so like, I've you a top never... or a bottom? Sometimes you're the catcher. I got you. He's the pitcher. No, uh, if if you're circumcised, you're at the top. Right, here we go again. You fucking <laughs> freaks! I, Rachel's mm. look on her face right now is again. This guy cannot it's, stop going. He towards... won't drop it. We can be talking about like, did you play the newest video game? It's really good. That level where the alien comes out and you shoot him, and then let's talk about dicks, guys. Like, wait, what? <laughs> I, I, I mean, it. it could be <laughs> even more innocuous than that. It can. I just, <laughs> truly, Rachel, I used to love you. I used to <laughs> love you? it when you were on here. Oh. And then it, it's been a year, and uh, oh, my man. feelings, is, I feel like Ken. In the, in the last like two well, I'm glad one third of the movie, this is a space that you are comfortable in because yeah. Well, thanks know. for breaking my heart. <laughs> I just my don't want to hear about penises anymore. No matter, no matter what, no matter what, <laughs> right? We can be talking about wanna, anything. Yeah, I, know, I don't want to like... hear the hate on pe- on uncircumcised penises. Today's so forecast. Afraid. Forecast? You mean foreskin? Freak. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny just goes off. <laughs> talk about Eddie. The uh, oh you yeah, clever motherfucker. <laughs> Carlos. So anyway, I give it a four out of five. In all the, in all the years movie. I've known you, that might have been the funniest thing you've ever said. <laughs> so, so yeah. So, so he's yeah. rating it a five out of five. Um, yeah. That statement specifically. Yeah, that's not statement your penis, five. Not no, the movie. No, 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 no. no, no. Well, Barbie's a Barbie's We, we yeah. know how I feel about you. Barbie's a four. <laughs> what the four. hell is going on? <laughs> Anyway, four out of five. It's a good movie, and I see why it made a lot of money. I do. Women, women kept going back to watch it over and over. That's and how it was crazy. Like women are for just movies about them. Movies <clears throat> for women. On Facebook, on my Facebook, it yeah. was like all my like high school like friends that I grew up with. They would go out in groups and dress up as a Barbie or all pink or whatever. Oh, yeah. and... I saw that when I saw it. Yeah. Yeah, people walked out in their pink shirts and they were in groups and they were like, they loved it. I loved it. And I, like I said, I walked out theater and I, it was pretty good. It was, you know, it's... I mean, a billion freaking dollars. But I can tell you this the male friends I have, when I told them I saw Barbie, they had this look on their face like, what the fuck? You, what? You saw Barbie? Like, what's wrong That's with you? Stupid. And I'm I like, mean... I'm like, dude, you gotta see it because yeah, you, you gotta know. be a part of the culture, the yeah. culture, right? I mean, if it's made a fucking dicks. billion dollars, yeah. No, seriously, that's another thing too. I would tell my friends, it's pretty good. It's not what you think. I think you think it's like gonna be this, this girly film that you can't relate to, but in reality, you can relate to the whole thing. You're gonna see so would you say that Randall Park was right, and that Hollywood has it wrong, and that. They shouldn't be moving on to the next toy movie. They should be making more movies about women, directed by women, written by women. Mm, I think it still has to. I think it still has to have an over, overlaying like um, connection. And Barbie gives that connection. It still has to to be good, right? Well, because nothing this day can exist on its own. You can't make new movies. They have to be remakes or some have some kind of existing brand behind them. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, but, if, but this Joy Ride, was, it, well, Joy if this movie was, well, if this movie was a movie, but Joyride made no women, money, it failed. But it should, but it, was but funny. it should have. Or no, it was he, as, as we all know, it's hilarious and it's a good movie. But but Rachel's right. If that movie was just starring Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling, strip away the Barbie thing, and it was about the real woman's like work experience and trying to make it yeah. a, in the head in the world, nobody would have saw it. But you add okay. some music and you dance around, La La Land, oh. boom. People they killed the it. marketing too with like the TikTok sounds and I like know, I knew everything. every yeah. song. Dude, the soundtrack it. was really, really good. Yeah. They no, were talking about La La Land or we're talking about Barbie? No, uh, they're Barbie. Barbie. Okay. Yeah. No, you're right. Oh, Billie the soundtrack. Eilish, all the other oh, yeah. famous people. Dua who did Lipa the songs. with yeah. her, and Nicki Minaj and another way yeah Something like that. Yeah. What was yeah. that, Rachel? I could dance, I could dance, I could dance. We don't got money. Little... Stop it. Stop. We yeah, don't it's got yeah. Stop it. First of all, no one can tell well, what that song we was. We just got Rachel sued here on Nerds Talking the Podcast. That was Darren no, no, Lee. You're what not it was. you're not anybody until you're sued at least once. That is true. That's I, true. I, I, I get, I get uh I get that threat about nine times a day. I, I'm gonna I sue you. <laughs> I'm gonna have your job. You're gonna hear from my lawyer. I imagine those are familiar words to you they are familiar words you ain't got no lawyer 
Yeah, yeah. those people ain't got no. But can lawyers. we uh, talk about the subtle best part of the yeah. Barbie movie, yeah, which is it. Alan? Right, love Alan. Oh, so good. <laughs> oh, Wait, is he based so on somebody like like a real yeah, Alan? He's a, a real, real, he's a real Yeah, he, he's Ken's friend. Ken's he best bud. Ken's friend. Yeah. Oh my God, he was so pathetic, and like even during yeah, his fight scene, pathetic. it was like, no, no, like I, I, as a pathetic so person, funny. I, I know my people. He was so fucking pathetic. Yeah, there I was mean, that that's one. That's just Michael Sarah's yeah, no, character he was... that he exactly. plays. That's his vibe. Exactly. It was yeah. so good, though. That's what but... I've been rocking for 46 years. Any any character in that movie is an actual toy that you saw. There's no just made up mm-hmm. characters. W- were there thick Barbies? No. Yeah, in like 2000 and whatever. Well, they true. Made yeah, thicker they Barbie. Did. Not, they did not make... as thick as she was, though, not, to yeah, be fair. Yeah. Because she was like the SNL girl, right? Like, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that's where I know her from. Yeah. But like, just in general, like, uh, I mean, I, I've seen like Black Barbies and Stewardess Barbies and all the Doctor and no, or President, President Barbies. Barbie. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. But I, I don't know if I've ever th- seen a thick Barbie. There is. Not, they like, make not as thick, but thick. they could have put Vanilla Ice in the movie because he was at one point Ken's friend and so was MC he Hammer. Was. MC I Hammer was too. Those. Really? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Remember Michael Jackson? Also. No. He I wasn't part of the Barbie. Line. He wasn't a Barbie though, right? Who no, he wasn't. Okay. He Michael Jackson was not a Barbie line. MC was, Hammer and Vanilla Ice. MC were. Hammer was an actual part of the Barbie line though? Yeah. They were okay, friends I, with Ken. Got it. That would have been hilarious. I that would have been pretty funny. But it would have been came, like a she, Geico she commercial, right? in sideways. Yeah. Oh, you could. Yeah. <laughs> you could have like one line or something each, or you know, yeah, she would have been funny. And well, there we go. It a little weird that they put Midge. They acted like pregnant Midge was like this leper. As she had to stay in her little. Yeah, section. right. Sorry, I'm. Just, I'm. I keep yeah, yeah, adding yeah, yeah. to the. No, podcast. you're right. That, no, that was one of the things that did. It was a little bit like, you know, we're gonna just gonna leave motherhood behind in this whole can of worms. But then the other thing, I'm like, well. Motherhood is its own can of worms of contradictions and difficulties. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, let's just focus on just being a woman, plain, singular, not adding on the additional <laughs> difficult level of being a mother. We'll so. save that for Barbie, too. Yeah, exactly. And uh, and of course, Barbie's sister was in it, too. So Skipper. Yep, Skipper. Yep. Skipper. But you're right. I wonder, you know, there's no Wait, way they was don't Skipper give a sequel like a, to Barbie. Uh, there's just no way. A captain or of some sort? They're definitely doing it. That's Who's no, sister. Her name Fuck was Skipper. Skipper. Her baby sister. Barbie's sister. Barbie's baby sister. Yeah. Yeah. Skipper. Mm-hmm. What the she shit? She was usually brown haired, if I remember correctly. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Different parents. Yeah. So um, I went to the Dollar Tree recently, and uh, this better be good. It there were the fucking Barbie. There were a lot of cocks for ninety nine cents, but they were very highly reviewed. Yeah. Oh my god! I just can't. Something, Rachel. Why? Why do you ask for punches to the ovary? <laughs> like, why do you do that to yourself? It's, I don't get it. Because I know it's going to be very hard. Continue your ninety-nine cents story. <laughs> but I appreciate Let's Rachel go. picking up on the punchline. Thank you, Rachel. Yeah. No, first of all, like walking into the Dollar Tree as an adult with a career that makes decent money, I feel like a fucking king. Like anything I want. So it's like you're in the Philippines on vacation. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, you. there are some things that I'm not going to trust with the Dollar Tree because they had a, a workout section. And I'm going to give you quotes. <laughs> and so I'm not going to buy like performance whey protein at the Dollar Tree. OK, I, <laughs> I'm just I'm just not going to do it. Like even if I'm really desperate to like lose weight, I'm not going to do it. It's just flour. Uh, yeah. But I mean, like I. I live like a king. I went through every aisle. I bought whatever the fuck I wanted, and I spent sixty dollars. Love Dollar Tree. We go there for all kinds of shit for Charlotte all the time. Craft. It's supplies, crazy, right? Dollar like, Tree. I mean, it's, it's, books, you bought Dollar sixty Tree. items. Do you, do you <laughs> feel like a king or what? Or yeah, queen? It's yeah. yeah, it's like walk down the aisle, grab whatever you want, Charlotte. It's on, Mama. Yeah, because normally if you walk nuts. down like a Target or a Walmart yeah. aisle, like, hey, maybe we should wait, or you don't yeah. need this, you already have that. Yeah. No, mm-hmm. no, no. When you walk down the Dollar Tree aisle, it's like, whatever you want, baby, I yep. got you. Yep. 
daddy so, got you. So what else happened there? Or just you wanted to brag about how you were a king of Dollar Tree? I'm very confused. <laughs> yeah, the Barbie, this is like a Barbie the story. The yeah, that's yeah, a good question. <laughs> I just want to know. Like, no, why did I you like, bring this up? I just walked down the aisles with my stately oh, cock. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God like, damn it. There we go again. <laughs> I was like, you know what? The, <laughs> this little um, uh, toy right here. I played that while, you know, showing my stately cock. Oh I'm going to imagine you know that uh-huh. you're too drunk to make the connection that you bought a Barbie for your daughter. Yeah, I'm confused. What, what, Nick, please tell us what happened at the Dollar that. Tree. What, what did you Barbie. Dollar Tree? Yeah, what did you do there besides I'm a king? I have twenty dollars. Like, what sir, is put, sir, put your penis away. Did you, walk, <laughs> did you walk in and you're like, I got everybody's bill. We'll buy whatever you want. I'm, I, gonna I, I'm not gonna lie. I I did a feel like Dollar that. Tree round on the house. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I mean, you you don't want to like insult the peasants, but then at the same time, it's like. I can afford everything. <laughs> I can buy the store. No, but I, I, what I was gonna <laughs> what I was gonna say is there were a lot of ethnic Barbies behind for a dollar. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh come on, of course. Yeah, but they're not yeah. actual Barbies at the Dollar Tree. They're like you know just the imports female from Mexico. For yeah. or perhaps at your Midwestern doll. Dollar Tree, like it was like. Barbara or some shit, but the, like, at, at my name. Dollar Tree, it was Barbie. She really? was dark, Real and pe- there were a lot of them. Oh yeah, no. If you go to Dollar General, Family Dollar, all that, you'll find actual Barbies. It's it'll be again, like Johnny just said, it's all the ethnic slash minority Barbies that. I go to Dollar buying. Tree. Well, and I haven't seen real Barbie, but and that's a fair point because all of this Barbie messaging was not very intersectional at all, right? It's it's white blonde Barbie and white blonde Ken. And like, there's still a lot of conversation to be had. Well, there was a they black get their own movie. No, well, but I, you're just, so I just right, mean though. like Ken, yeah. Ken knocking on the doors of the businesses being like, hey, promote me, hire me. I, I'm a I'm a man. I mean, that's not a blanket statement. No, that, I, that, I that agree. works for him. When I got out of the military, well, I it didn't very much like that. I was like, hey, you know, but like America was a moron. Hire yeah. me. Oh, and, you fought uh, for America? Hire me. No, uh, that's that. That was pretty much my opening line. America, yeah. and then didn't uh, work. I didn't, didn't get work. a job for a very, very long time. Yeah, and so, Ken's yeah. enemy, Ken's enemy was the minority Ken. He yeah, what the shit? The communist Ken? Like, why, why, why the fuck? He was Un- uh, unnecessary. Shang-Chi. Yeah, all these questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The North Korean the Ken. But, Ken but the Rachel North right. Korean that's, Ken. That's a whole different topic of when kids go to buy these toys they're more likely to buy the white like you know the white barbie and the white this and that because in in media that's what they portray to them as you know being uh you know the hierarchy yeah. of a people the beauty standard yeah yeah exactly the, so they, it's oh, like yeah. apex you I take mean, uh, even beyond that you can hear some real you want to hear some really sad facts yeah. yes yeah, when they were doing a study of like um, children playing with dolls, even black children would describe the black dolls as being less good or bad in comparison to the white dolls. They would choose the white dolls, and it's just yep. it, that's so sad. Yeah, that's yeah. So yeah, sad. my cousin my recently, music. my cousin recently spent some time in the Philippines, and because and she didn't have a tan, she was a little pale, more pale than the rest. And because of that, she was actually looked up to because in the Philippines, you're looked up to if you don't have a tan, because that means you have an office job. You're working indoors as opposed to outdoors where you look down upon because clearly you're a farmer or some sort of laborer or something like that. So, yeah, having fair skin is a plus, apparently, in the society that, that, that we look at. That's, that's pretty Asian much a blanket. A yeah, blanket Asian standard, culture in general. Right? Because oh, I just right. right. blanket. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, in the yeah, Philippines, yeah. like, uh, they have some some weird beliefs. No, but, but it's true. I mean, it's it is a cultural thing because when a person that's not Asian goes to China, people will look at them like, "Oh my God! Oh wow! Wow!" 
They're well, so go watch. fat. That's what I was gonna say. They're gonna be like, ooh, <laughs> fat. No, yeah. But Have I told watch... you guys about that 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 time? What, what like happened? recently, like Uh-oh. within the Uh-oh. past like month, I went to go buy a new uniform. Oh, I thought and... you got a bad review. We go ahead. No, no, of my cack. That's oh, still yeah. that's still coming in. It's still, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, they got yeah. three months, right? Like an Airbnb. <laughs> How dare you, Rachel? <laughs> That wasn't even an insult. I was just saying they have time. Yeah, they have time to review it. No, 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 their time. That wasn't an insult either. It. But how dare you? The reviews are in. Anyways, continue. So I I put on these these new pants for my uniform, oh. and then this like older Asian lady in her sixties, she walks out, and I'm like, she just looks at me. I'm like, what? I'm like, too small. She's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> And she's like, I'd be right back. She grabs like a, a pant size, like two sizes bigger and fucking puts it on me. Fit like a glove, by the way. So she she knew what the fuck she was talking about, but I didn't <laughs> like her tone. It was very much like my mother's. But she was like, oh, you 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 too fat. Uh, put on this bigger, bigger <laughs> uniform. I mean, most Asian people are not fat. You know, this is not a thing. You know, I mean. Okay, I guess it's, it's different. American culture, you're going to see a lot of fat Asians, sure. But typically, a lot of Asians are not uh, overweight. This is true. I get that. I get that. And Rachel, I've told this story before, but you've never heard this. So my you wife. I'm a d- dedicated listener. Yeah, she listens you all the time. shut your show. stupid mouth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just wow. So I was asking my I, I was asking my wife, like, hey, I... I have you seen this duffel bag? You know, we had recently moved. <laughs> and I was like, have you seen this duffel bag? It's the blue one. She's like, is that where you used to keep your sumo outfit? And I used to like do Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And uh, I was like. Capoeira? No, no. no Brazilian too, that's jiu-jitsu. That's Brazilian. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. It, yeah that's, it's that's that's too much. It's, that, that that's too many like, words for him, Rachel. Flipping. Pull it back. And Pull it back. back. But she's like, is that where you could keep your sumo outfit? I'm like. It's called jujitsu, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Anyways, so Rachel, are you surprised he's still married? I mean, a little bit, but I <laughs> yeah, guess same here. <laughs> I guess divorce is a big decision. It's not Rachel, that. The, the, the last divorce... time you were here, you you thought highly of me, and now a year has <laughs> gone by. Second. Time and... out, time out. Rachel, did you think highly of him? <laughs> That's what I need to know. Rachel, don't kill don't kill my memories. Okay. I think please. he's like kind no of comment. making this. There we go. That's all I needed. <laughs> it's stately, you motherfuckers. <laughs> this is so therapy for him. I mean, he's getting this all out now. He walks out of this room, closes the door, and he's all nice to his wife. Honey. Yeah, he's probably like the best husband ever. Uh-huh. That. Oh yeah. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, yeah. Oh, stop. Go on. Uh-huh. No, no. <laughs> what was the we question? We still, we know it was on the question. Well, we're still waiting for your wife's review. Essentially, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when she comes on, we want. I to mean, hear she's it. happy. Did she get enough? a refund? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has she even gone back and rewrite the review? Sometimes you do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you change the review. Yeah, change yeah. It. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm like the owner wiki. Like I change all that shit after she posts. Yeah, you're the worst. So like she might have complaints, but. In the you end. block she's the still, comments. No, com- she's no more so comments. Happy. So I'm if so you, happy. If, if she's you so were, happy. If you were in charge of Barbie 2, what would you do with that movie? What would you even do? Because the Barbie's in real world now. Like, what, how would you even approach it? So it's, well, it's you a do hard one. I mean, like, no part two. No, no. Even before that, Barbie gets fat. Welcome to the real world, Barbie. <laughs> no, I, I, I love it. I love I it. disagree. No, like, you you still need Margot Robbie. Oh, the replacer with Amy Schumer. Rachel, good screen. point. It's Amy whatever. Schumer can do the sequel. Amy Schumer good did part two. Point. No, you good gotta point. love Barbie still. Like Barbie has to still be Margot Robbie or a Gal Gadot or something like she that. Yeah, but she that. could still get be fat. fat. Yeah, yeah, it's called the prosthetics. We can all get fat. It's real easy. <laughs> it's an equal opportunity. No, I mean, you know, you know, Warner Brothers said, what do you got for a sequel? We like you got no, no, idea. when you make a billion exactly fucking oh, dollars. Sure. Exactly. And is... yeah, like you're going to explore your other options. Like, yep. I'll put it in perspective. I have a, a slot machine game and at the most I make like five hundred million dollars at the most. 
And that's like spending hours and hours, like just that's the wasting biggest my payoff they could get. That's what yeah. I mean. yeah, 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 a billion. Not like you've billion. had five hundred million. No, no, no. no. Yeah, imaginary dollars. The most yeah. imaginary dollars I'll ever have in my life is five hundred million. <laughs> they have a billion real dollars. Oh yeah. Like yeah, explore your options. I mean, after it's gonna... each of our funerals, every everybody will leave and go see Barbie twelve. Like that's just what the world is going to be. It'll be a whole franchise. Uh, yeah. Like, like Fast and Furious, like Family. Like Saw what, 10 that just comes Ooh, out. Saw yeah. 10, yeah. Saw yeah. is still making movies? Yeah, yeah. number 10. Number, number 10, 10 just came That's out. Coming out this week. When your yeah, main character horrible. is a puppet, you don't have to worry about him aging. Yep, yeah, <laughs> yeah, good point. Good point. All right, well, there we go. Uh, Pretty much all good reviews all around. Seems like everybody enjoyed the movie to some extent. Johnny enjoyed it a little different than us, but that's all right. <laughs> we all got a different take on it. Um. Take them to a whole different world. I, yeah, I no, feel like you guys are just overlooking the fact that Rachel and Laura are uh-huh. fucking heartbreakers, and they don't give a shit about the people. Actually, Rachel they... said she's not. I, yeah, I, exactly. I, yeah, yeah. yeah, she's cold as ice. That's not a heartbreaker, though, because she's she's not lead <laughs> you on never, and break yeah, your heart. I never I give will say that, the opportunity. That, that would Laura, yeah, she tells you to your like, face. Like if you walk up to Rachel and be like, "Hey, girl, you want to go out?" She's like. Pitiful man, and then she, she just said, walks away, and she's like, "No," like, and walks you away. You wouldn't even do no, it. She looks, probably doesn't even say kill. no. She's just like, yeah, yeah. Uh, and walks <laughs> away. <laughs> no, people don't. What, what Laura because... did, Laura like, mm. fed Not him now, a bone. We're about, like you know, close the book single. on him. Like Laura, what you did. That's what I've been searching for my whole life. An email. Yeah, he keeps looking for a spam <laughs> folder over and over. Where's that? that where's that apology? You <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I look in that folder. I'm like, should well, I okay. reply to this prince in Africa? Laura, or... on behalf of all of the women who have strung Johnny along, can you give him an apology? Yes, I can. Johnny, all of the women in the world, what we're all looking for, honestly, because life and society brings us down so much is we are we're looking for an ego boost we're looking for power because we don't get it anywhere else and so seeing a man that wants to so so much even if you're not interested it is a crazy high to experience so yeah it it this this is what we did and we're sorry that you're the victim of that but really it's just a product of society and, and Bookie, I, I and understand. I'm sorry. Society. That's kind of a shitty. No, no, no. I, that's kind I of a understand. Shitty I'm sorry. I appreciate. I'm sorry. That's it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But then the at the same time, <laughs> I would have fucking rocked your world. I like how so, Laura's. I like how Johnny's so there's follow that. up With is your that. Stately and, talk. There we yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> I like how your follow up is. It's all right, girl. If you're still available, I'm down. And then, the, <laughs> and then Laura's response is, I don't think you understood. I'm sorry. Don't no, email no, no, me back. I think no, you no, can no. watch Barbie again. Yeah. Johnny's yeah. the Asian Ken. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't worry about it, Barbie. I still love you, but there's still a chance if you're willing. I should. This movie messed you up, man. <laughs> <laughs> you up. I feel like, scared of, like there, horror movies. This one messed you up. There might be <laughs> other issues that I need to explore, and I oh, probably yeah. shouldn't explore it on Nerds yeah. Talking the podcast. Yeah, yeah. We've all so, got a lot of issues to explore. Yeah, just really, just wow. I'm just talking right. about well, daddy you. issues with yeah. Rachel today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, Laura dropped a truth bomb in the chat this morning. I was like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Explore what the no, shit no, happened. No, here? no, no, off we're, later. We're, we're, yeah, what no, the... stop it. You have to have me back. But I don't run away, run away. Never, <laughs> never. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks for joining us, everyone. Good <laughs> lord, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, thanks, Rachel, for joining us on our show here, Nerds Talking and Impolite Society again. Out now, check it out. The new season has started, Impolite Society. And if you don't know, what is the first episode about? It is Satan. about Satan. Satan. That's Our right. Lord and Savior, Satan. Yeah, Satan. No, <laughs> Good old Satan. So there you go. That's our show, everyone. Uh, for Laura. Goodbye. No, couldn't hear your vaping. Do it again. For Laura. <laughs> Goodbye. There we go. For Carlos. Bye bye. For Johnny. It's stately. Oh, shit. For <laughs> Rachel.
You are Knuff. There it is. <laughs> I'm Lafayette. Thanks for joining us here at Nurse Talking to Podcast. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>